Hi there, this is a setup video for the Merch Wizard Chrome extension. So if you go to merchwizard.app, uh, you'll see these three links here. The uh, first one we'll do is to go to Gumroad and do the subscription. So just hit subscribe, you'll fill in your payment details, and then once you hit pay and subscribe, you'll get a unique code. Okay, that is your Gumroad license key. We'll then want to copy that over to Notepad or similar so we can use it later on. So we just type Gumroad for that key. Okay, and then the next place we'll go to will be the Chrome Web Store and we'll add the extension. So it needs to be able to read data from Gumroad and Amazon, so that is fine. And that will install when we get the Merch with the icon in the top right. Next will be to go to Airtable and go to copy the base. You'll see that copy base in the top right. That will take us to a page where you're invited to sign up. When you go through, you fill in your name and email and password, create an account, and it's going to basically copy that base to your account. So you have your own copy of it. Uh, just they have a concept of workspace here, which is a bit like a folder, which is calling that merch. And then that is your own copy there, ready to go. Next, you want to go to account and get your API key. So you're going to need to go and generate that first. And if you click on it, you'll be able to see it. We want to copy it and put that in our notepad file as well. Just create an entry in here for the table key as well, because we're going to need that shortly. Okay, so to get our table key, we need to go to Airtable Go to the actual base, this is your personal copy of it, go to help, go to API documentation and we need to get a key from there. So just scroll down a little bit. The first thing you come to on this right hand column, you just want to grab that bit there that starts with the three letters APP for up. And you copy that in. Right, we've got our keys now, we're going to start Merch Wizard. The first time it starts up it's going to ask you to put in the keys. So. Just copy and paste them into the relevant bits. Once you've done this once and that's it, it's set up and ready to go. Um, if anybody's thinking they can copy some of these, you can see in the video, I've already disabled them, I'm afraid, so no such luck. Anyway, you will be up and running now, so you can search for whatever you want and this will find it from your particular base. So no one else will have access to this, it's just be you and your design. So. You'll then want to delete out all the records from there and start importing your own records. Alright, and that is it for the setup video. Thanks and goodbye.